Hi girls, my name is Chloe. I am 11 years old and I am in 6th grade. I recently moved to Fort Worth, Texas from Memphis, Tennessee. I want to do this video because I have moved so many times. I've moved like about 6 times. And I really want to help other girls. And I hope it comes to this video comes to your use. We will be dealing with coping skills, specifically move, adapting to new places, like moving to a different neighborhood, or moving to a different school, or making friends, or whatever it is. So let's get to it. So, in this process, there's going to be two phases. The negative phase and the positive phase. You're always going to start off in the, in the negative phase, even if you don't want to. You just can't control it. So, the first phase is going to be sadness. You, you're, you're really just going to be so sad because maybe you miss your friends. Maybe you miss your room. Maybe you miss your school. Maybe you miss the grass on your lawn. I don't know. Then it's going to be anger. You're going to feel so angry. You're going to want to control everything. Maybe you're angry because you're sad. You're, you're just not in control. Don't try to control the things that you can't control. You're also going to feel, because you're angry, you're going to feel isolated. You're, you're just going to want to go away from everyone, be alone. Because you're in isolation, you're going to get worried. Like, what, am I missing out on something? Is there something that I should be doing? What, what am I doing? Am I just sitting here and doing nothing? Which brings us back to the sadness. You're gonna feel sad over and over and over. This is basically, sadness is basically the same thing. Now, the next phase is the positive phase. So instead of feeling sad, feel happy. You should always feel happy because maybe you do miss something, but maybe there's, stop seeing the cons on things and see the pros on things. Maybe I like these leaves. Maybe, you know, then feel accepting. And instead of trying to control everything, accept that you're, you're okay. Because, for example, you can, instead of feeling angry that, oh, I don't know, your room color isn't the same thing, or it's not the same as the other one. No, because, Nothing lasts forever. Then including yourself. Say like, you should include yourself because you are you are gonna feel like you're missing out on something. You really are. And it's because you probably are missing out on something. So include yourself more because that's gonna make you happy. And calm, just go with the flow. Be zen, it's okay. Gonna be okay. So, which one do you choose? Now the decision is on you. Would you rather be sad? Or would you rather be happy like a sunshine? It's your decision. Now, I really hope you like this video. I really hope to see you again. Go, girl power.